right, so we're here with Rosie and her two babies. She had twin little boy kids a couple days ago. Uh, last night when we came in, we noticed that she had one of her teats was bigger than the other, um, which means she had like a clogged milk duct or was developing mastitis. So I went ahead and gave her a shot of LA 200, which is an antibiotic and got a warm rag and went ahead and milked that side out so that it would um, not get keep growing. Um, the kids were only nursing on one side, so the other side, every time her milk would come in again, it would just fill up even more. So it can be pretty painful, it gets real hot and feverish. So the first step was obviously to give her antibiotics to start getting that out of her system. And the second one was to milk her, and I've been doing that a couple times a day just to relieve that pressure. Uh, we can tell today this would be the fourth time I've milked her, and I can already tell that that pressure is starting to go down. Uh, the swelling is coming down. The fever is pretty much gone. So a couple more days, and hopefully it'll be back to normal. And as these little guys get bigger, then they can nurse on it also. It's important just to keep the milk flowing so that it doesn't back up and cause more problems for her. All right, so as you can see, this one here is a lot sw more swollen and bigger than the other side. So that's the side that we're going to milk out, try to relieve some of that pressure for her. So we're also putting this uh, essential oil on there. We put 10 drops of lavender and 10 drops of peppermint with a tablespoon, uh, two tablespoons of carrier oil, which we use coconut oil. So this is just kind of a natural way to relieve the pain, the fever, and um, just kind of reduce some of her discomfort and hopefully bring it back down to size. So we've been putting that on there a couple times a day also. And she's doing much, much better today. She didn't have a whole lot of milk. Uh, the first time, whenever I milked her yesterday, it was like there was just a ton in there. It was really thick. You could kind of tell that it was infected. So also with that, you want to make sure either do it into a container or remove that hay that the infected milk gets onto just so that nobody else gets into it. Um, we don't know exactly what the infection is from. It's usually some sort of an infection or it can be because of a clogged duct. So either way, you wanna make sure that it's not something that can spread to other people or other goats. So get it cleaned out of the way and make sure that you're always using safety precautions whenever you milk them like wearing gloves. <laughs> Thank you. 